password protected. Think, Nina, think. Two, three, four, two. No wonder Dad tape recorded the code. No one would be able to find the password very quickly. You're not supposed to read other people's email. Then again, extraordinary circumstances call for extraordinary measures. So let's start snooping around. There are only two emails in the inbox. One about boosting performance and the other about women over 80. Neither of them interest me that much. The trash file is empty. But there's an email to ok at nms.de in the sent file. Subject, Tunguska. Could be interesting. I'll just go ahead and open it. Hello, Oleg. Haven't heard from you in a long time. I'm doing well again. It took me quite some time to come to terms with the whole thing. To answer your question, it's been a long time since I've thought about that. And honestly, I'm rather happy about it. I underestimated those guys once already, and my wife paid with her life. I swore back then to drop the subject for once and for all. Please don't take offense, but I'm just going to leave it at that. But now that you're living nearby again, we can meet in person. I would like to see you again. Get in touch and let me know when and where would be convenient. Vladimir Kalenkov Dad underestimated these guys and my mother paid with her life? What did he mean by that? She died in a car accident. I really need to contact this Oleg. Maybe he knows something that can help me out. I'll try to draw the key up the side of the glass using the magnet. Got it. A small golden key. My father's address book. That could help me out. And a little note attached to a ribbon. There's a number on this note. L-A-6-0-A-K-1-9-A-L. Under that, there's a description of the diadem that was probably robbed from an oriental princess about 200 years ago. Originally, the three largest gemstones in the world had been incorporated into this diadem. On the left, an emerald. On the right, a ruby. And in the middle, an amethyst. My father wrote something on the back. The diadem will illuminate the real princess, and she will realize that money is not the greatest treasure. Let's see if this Oleg is in there. The one who wrote the email to Daddy. Oh, here. Oleg Kambersky. He even lives close by. Maybe I should just pay him a little visit. So here we are. Hopefully that's the Oleg that my father wrote the email to. And hopefully he knows something that can be helpful. I haven't really been able to find out much yet. A blue trash bag, hopefully unused. A sweet little food bowl for our furry friends. Pets can get in and out through that thing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you Oleg Kambersky? Yeah. Why? I'm... I'm Nina Kalinkov. Yeah? And? Yeah. Okay. Uh... You know my father, Vladimir Kalinkov, and I thought you... I don't know any Vladimir Kalinkov. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. Phooey. That wasn't very successful. I hope for the biggest break in the search for my father and that guy doesn't even let me speak. Did I say something wrong? Or exactly the right thing?
Looks like this Kambursky guy is a hobby gardener. Even his garden hose is green. The guy is hectically making phone calls. Does that have something to do with my visit? If only I were a fly on the wall in his office. Oleg is still on the phone, and he's not exactly leaving the impression that he's relaxed. The food and water bowls for the pet in the middle of the kitchen. Very hygienic. A broom handle, but it could be a handle from a shovel, too. Cats. Little hairy beasts that just sleep and eat. If I oversalt the pizza, it will probably not get any tastier. I'm finally gonna get rid of the stinky stuff, and the cute little fuzzball will probably even like it. As soon as the cat eats that salty stuff, it'll beat a path to the nearest water dish. If I wanna use that cat for something, I should do it beforehand. I should fasten my cell phone to the cat somehow. Now I can tape my cell phone almost everywhere. The cell phone's camera function is on, a rare example of the European roaming dictaphone. Now I just need to somehow lure the cat into the kitchen. That should make our little pussycat real thirsty. Wonderful, it worked! Oleg is still on the phone, and the cat will be drinking for a while, and hopefully recording the conversation. I love it when a plan comes together. A relic from long ago, before everyone had cell phones. Let's see how the cat reacts to my cell phone's vibrate mode. Oh, great. The cat is up in the tree, and my cell phone is stuck up there in a crotch of the tree. How am I supposed to get to it? <laughs> 